So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be discussing about selectors in CSS. Now selectors in CSS basically means that you need to cherry pick some element from your HTML document and style it in a certain way, right? So <clears throat> first things first, just like we learned about, um, you know, just about tags in general in the HTML section and how attributes work, um, it comes out that you can actually use the tags, the name of the tags right here and target them exactly in a CSS file. So CSS file has a very basic structure. What you do is, there's, there are a lot of ways, but this is one of the way. What you do is you write a tag name, right? Which exactly matches with the tag name which you write in HTML like this. So this tag name and this tag name is same inside CSS. And then you write an opening curly brace and a closing curly brace, right? Now, whatever that goes inside this thing in between this, this opening curly brace and closing curly brace are the styles. Now these styles are applied to this particular tag and whatever is being contained inside this tag in the HTML. Now let me just clear, clarify what that means. So we have another tag called div in HTML, right? I'm not sure if I introduced it, but if not, here we are. So it's just a block level tag. That means it, it is just like H1, um, but without all the, all the bold and increased font sizes, right? It will separate your lines just like paragraph would, right? So just like <clears throat> we saw that paragraph separates the line, div also separates the line, but it does not in come with the included padding and margin. So <clears throat> anyway, we have a div and let's say we have a paragraph inside this and we have another paragraph inside this, right? So what happens is that when I style this div tag right here, when I use div here, and if I write a bunch of styles here, what is going to happen is it's going to apply the styles to this particular div tag, number one. Number two is that all the children of this div, so we call the nested elements as children. So P is a child of the div tag, right? So all the children of the div would automatically inherit the styles of its parent, right? So, so as to say, what's going to happen is that if I go ahead and give this div a color of, let's say blue, then the div would become blue, number one. Number two is P tag, although we have not explicitly said that this should be blue, would inherit that property from the div and would become blue itself. So I'm gonna say color as blue here, and you can see that on the right, both of these P tags turn blue. Now, if you were supposed to write something inside this div itself, then obviously it would be blue as well, because you know you have actually made the div, the whole div tag blue, so anything inside this is blue, plus all the child um, tags as well. Now, how about if you make a P tag of color red? So here's what happens. Now, what happened was, well, when the browser was, was constructing this page, so it saw that, hey, okay, um, I have this div right here, and I can see in the style sheet, it says that all the div should have color blue. Great. So it moves on, it makes it blue, then it sees this P tag. And the browser says, um to the style sheet hey what it should be what should be the color of this this particular p tag now the style sheet is confused well do you want me to say the color blue because that is of the parent or do you want me to have its color red because that is of the child we are targeting the p tag directly now there's something known as css specificity i hope i pronounced it right but anyway there's something known as that and uh, what it does is that it allows you to actually, it allows the browser to actually, um, you know, take the final decision on what styles should be applied if there's a conflict ever in the styles, right? So eventually the name cascading style sheets also means the same thing, that the styles which um, come on later would be applied uh, with a higher priority. But that is not the real case with here, even if you just move it um above the div it will still be red 
Why it is red is because when you're targeting the P tag directly, you say to that P tag that, hey, I really, really want you to be red, right? But with the div, the P, you know, just sees that its parent is blue, so I'm going to be blue. But obviously, when you're targeting something directly, it goes direct to that. So it directly converts it into a red element, right? So this is about priorities. If you target that particular thing directly, it is going to, um, you know, just, just go ahead and do that anyway. So yeah, yeah, that's, that's the basic introduction to how selectors work in um, CSS, this div and p, these are called selectors. We're going to talk more about these property values here, probably in the next video. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next video real soon.